Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermiss Fishing Tips. What I'd like to do is take a moment out and just give a quick demo on how to fillet a crappie. But before we do so, I have a black crappie here and a white crappie and uh, I'll show you three distinct features that will enable you to tell the difference between the two. If you take a look here, the white crappie has got an elongated snout as compared to the black crappie where it's uh, much more short and stout. And then if we work our, work our way along, the, the white crappie has a black, a predominant black dot uh, on the back side of the, on the end of the gill cover, whereas the, the black crappie does not. And the black crappie, as you can see here, is peppered with, with black dots, whereas the white crappie has more of these black lines, almost like a perch. That's kind of like a bluegill and the, and the, the lines are kind of like a perch. And those are three distinct features that will help you tell the difference between a black crappie and a white crappie. And right now, I'm going to take a minute out and uh, we're going to fillet one of these up and show you how easy it is to do. Now crappies can get fairly large, but I'm going to, I'm going to fillet this smaller one as most, most uh, this is the most sought after size right there. So let's take a minute and just take a quick look on how to fillet this fish. And very simply, just cut behind the gill cover like so. Turn them over, cut along the other side of the gill cover, and then with your knife just run it right along the top of the back fin here, just like so. And you see I'm using a nice little fillet knife here, which I love using for pan fish. And same thing on the other side. Now once I've made those incisions, just take your knife and run it right along the backbone, just like so. And there's a rib cage that goes around just like this. And this is the same on sunfish, on bass. That rib cage just goes just like so. So just take your knife, and then once you get around the rib cage, you can poke it right through, and then come right out the other side. And then once you've done that, turn the fish over, and do the same thing to the other side. Take the, the knife and run it right along, along that rib cage, just like so. And then you can poke your knife through, and just work it right to the tail, just like so. Now, all you have to do now is cut along and just work your knife along the rib cage. There's not much meat there on the rib cage. These are, there's not much there. So once you've come around the rib cage, you basically just go straight down, just like so. And there's your one fillet right there. And now you've got the other side. You can now finish removing that fillet on the other side. And again, just take it right around the rib cage and work your way right down through, just like so. Cut it off, and there you have two boneless fillets. And then you just hold the fillet down like so. Oop, I cut the, the skin is very, very soft on a crappie. But all you have to do now is just hold the skin down, take your fillet knife, and run it just along between the skin and the fillet. And there you have it right there, one boneless crappie fillet. And this is ready for the frying pan. And let me tell you folks, when it comes to uh, fine dining, crappy is very, very good. It's a delicate meat, it's a little bit sweet, and it's very, very tasty. So I hope next time you're on the water, you're able to get into some crappies, and if you do, have yourself a nice fish fry. And until next time, folks, good luck and good fishing.